Okay, so it looks like a neighbor of Nikki Thought and Jamie Perkins at the time is speaking out and basically discussing a lot of concerns about what ha has happened in this week and I think it provides a different perspective. Hey guys, that's Morab Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back at again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button. It is daily and consistent content and let's get straight into this video, guys. Do subscribe, it's just one click. So this particular person is called The Alchemist. They've come into the comments and they are discussing with somebody and they're basically going, we were their neighbors before the house they bought together when they were married. And sis, let me tell you, they were always fighting nonstop. Jamie was never home. She was always with the kids. She did pretty much everything on her own most of the time. And when he was home, they were fighting. She actually did modeling. She wanted him at home to start helping out with Ava and house duties. They were quite wealthy due to their channel. She didn't feel the need for him to slave his ass off. He could be a dad and husband at home. She was miserable with Jamie. I'm glad that she left. Anyways, I'm not defending Nikki. She has her faults but he's definitely talking shit in some of his story. She became a friend of ours when they lived next to us. She had no one. Her family lived on the other side of Melbourne. No friends, only his friends. She was always alone and lived away from her family and friends for years. So when they separated, she just went back to where family is. He keeps talking like he's traveling to another state to get his kids. Dude, you just, you just have to drive over the Westgate Bridge. It's not that far. Well, from what we have experienced from that, that was reactive abuse. He would say sh to her and then record it. He did it to her all the time. He records everything. There's no breaks with Jamie. When my brother committed suicide in the house down the road from him, and then he recorded the aftermath. Wow. Um, thank you. He put that in the vlog on the channel. We asked Nikki if you could take it down. He didn't until recently. This person's called our chemist. They're clearly going in the conversations between people coming forward saying that, you know, I was a neighbor. I've seen all of this stuff. They've been arguing. We've heard it all, you know, back and forth. And that, you know, I'm not justifying Nikki's faults, but this man does record stuff. This man, you know, probably was a reactive abuse. This man does X, Y, Z and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, of course, this has come into the fold. It's come part of a conversation. First and foremost, this isn't any form of evidential proof. It's just, we don't even know if this person is a neighbor. This person could be somebody random just making up an account. To be honest with you, the way she's written it, it does look detailed that, it, to me, I would believe it's a neighbor on first read. But it could be anybody, especially in the world of AI and people making fake accounts and spams and bots and whatever, or somebody trying to get a narrative out there. It's very easy just to write something and somebody could just believe it. But at the end of the day, I don't know who would write all of that and do all that detail, to be honest with you. Now, it's just interesting how we've come into the world of reactive abuse and suddenly these are terms that people are now discussing and we're trying to look into that. When, as I said, and I'll keep saying this, if this was role reversal and Nikki Thought came out with this video where she has a video of, you know, Jamie Perkins moving mad in the video or, you know, texts from Jamie Perkins apologizing for hitting her, we wouldn't be looking at what did Nikki Thought do to react or get or warrant that kind of abuse. Like nobody, that conversation will not be present. It will not be there at large lengths. So I don't know why this significant conversation of reactive abuse, because it wouldn't be there for a man if it was a role reversal. People would have wrapped up Jamie Perkins in seconds if there was a message from him admitting to hitting Nikki Thought. She's admitted to that. So she definitely is a domestic abuser because she's admitted to it and there's proof and texts and etc. But at the same time, it doesn't, in my opinion, make Jamie Perkins innocent. I don't see him as a damsel in distress. I feel like he also could have done things in the relationship. But this neighbor's coming forth and basically exposing him, saying that, you know, he does record everything. Um, this isn't the first person that is a third party that has spoken out against Jamie Perkins, the ex-friends who, if you've watched them for a while, you will know that those people were friends with Jamie, but they've all followed him when they've coming out with these statements or whatever. Those are the ex-friends as well. So third parties have come out to speak against Jamie Perkins. So I think that definitely says something and should hold something. Why Nikki Thought's taking ages with this video? I don't know. I feel like at this point, it's been stretched out. It's been a week or so, but of course, let her take her time to do whatever the hell she needs to do. I think that with his video also being deleted or taken down, I don't think that she probably will come out with anything because she's probably like, you know what? He's taking it down. People are gonna forget about it and etc. But I hope that she does because these are damaging allegations. When it comes to something that uh, involves abuse where you're harming somebody, then it should be taken serious point blank period um point blank period and i think that people are kind of forgetting that level of abuse um it doesn't mean that you know jamie perkins perhaps hasn't harmed her or abused her played mental health games or did something wrong or was being mischievous or you know maybe crafting his edit and acting like those those things are very much possible and i'm not denying that but Proof has been brought into the public court of opinion of, you know, her being an abuser. 
it wasn't even the video that really got to me. A lot of people were shocked by the video of her because best believe if you got a camera in my face, I'm coming to grab it from your, I'm coming to grab that camera. So, you know, I'm coming to grab that camera. So I don't care if I'm frustrated, why are you filming me? You're gonna piss me off even more. For me, it was just the language. It wasn't even taking the baby out of the mother's arm. It was, I'm not gonna be responsible for my actions because the mother was like, be responsible. She doesn't wanna be responsible. And then saying, um, you won't see the, um, my kids anymore not take accountability for your actions or especially weaponizing your kids are dangerous statements to make and they you know do resemble somebody who could be some kind of a narc that for me and then also the text message of admitting to hitting him are the only two focal points just the language in the video and admitting to hitting again i do think jamie perkins isn't all innocent in my opinion i just feel like there's more to the story, but we will never know about it unless Nikki Thought doesn't speak out. I think there's more to the story, and I think that these third parties now speaking out to support or stand against Jamie does speak of something. If they're true, we don't know if they're true. Um, but at the end of the day, she is a domestic abuser from what we've seen in these videos. Um, yes, there could have been something that Jamie has done, but it doesn't justify you putting your hands on somebody as well. So again, I just keep pressing on the fact that if this was role reversal and it was a, a grown man who was admitting to hitting a woman, there there will be no reactive abuse theories coming out. Nothing, child. It would have been a wrap for that man. Uh, so I just feel like DV allegations are not taken serious and never will be, to be honest with you, due to the tropes of masculinity, misogyny, misogynoir that is viral and everywhere in this world. This incel community, all of this stuff has taken over so significantly that men who end up being abused in any kind of way, it's glossed under the radar. People don't understand it. They don't read the optics in that way and just a man cannot be a victim unfortunately you know it is what it is like i know some people were mentioning in my last video oh but morale what about your scandal and you're just talking about everybody else and etc you've done things that are far worse or etc i was a teen sex worker there was no abuse these men these men in those videos were not victims you know they were exploiting homeless teenage sex workers asking them to do weird things me to do weird things kinks and fantasies locking me in rooms drugging me up slapping me up left and right to perform for them and do things for them and so they pick on children on the streets who are homeless there were many children children's a stretch teenagers 18 19 20 on the streets and you know if you don't have a roof over your head you're going to be exploited by these men and do things that you shouldn't be doing to try and survive so that's not the same as somebody harming somebody and abusing somebody uh you know and i think that it's a shame that these grown uncles didn't get any of the blame nobody looked at them like why are you even going to eight, an 18 year old and ask them to do things for you as a man maybe touching his 40s and 50s so i think again you know perhaps if i was a girl in a 17 18 year old girl with a 45 year old man then maybe people will be able to distinguish between but when you are a young boy um People don't distinguish the domestic violence or people don't distinguish between the power dynamic or the violence or etc. They see it as man on man. Really, I was a 17, 18 year old with a man who was nearly in, who was 45 or men in their 40s and 50s. Why are these grown men hiring young teenage boys and exploiting them? Because it very well takes place. Believe me, I know. We've all seen my stuff that went left, right, center. That's what I'm trying to talk about. When, it's a, uh, people, when it comes to a man or a boy, people don't understand the levels of violence that they can go through. And it is very dangerous to see. It's extremely dangerous how it's just completely just overlooked. And I feel like nobody speaks about the exploitation of young boys on the streets um, and what they go through with these grown men and the grooming of young boys, the sexual exploitation of young boys, the domestic violence of young boys. Nobody speaks about it. Nobody understands it. And when these boys try to speak out, they then end up looking like non-masculine when they do, uh, because that's what you're not meant to do. And of course, you know, my religion, my culture restricts it to a whole new level. You can't publicly ever speak about it. So I think one day I'll do a full video on YouTube about it now that's out in the open anyways, because I think authenticity is important. But believe me when I tell you, nobody is helping these young boys on these streets. I am working to help these young boys. I've helped two young boys so far, one Kenyan boy and one Bangladeshi boy who were both young boys who got kicked out of their homes, ended up homeless, um, were escaping significant amount of sexual abuse, ended up going into then uh, sex work to survive and doing things that they should never have been doing just so that they can get a roof over their head. And I have financially given them um, packages of money to get away from all of that that they don't need to be doing basically being the responsibility that i being the guidance that i wish i had at that age um 
and I've helped them get out of sex work. They're now living their best lives, getting the life that they deserve. And I just wish I had that at that age. And the reason why I'm going off on a tangent right now in this is because I just feel like the moral bed is that young boys, or especially men in general, are not taken serious in any form of violent situations, domestic violent situations, or etc. People don't like to read the nuances, but for some reason, if it's a woman, then suddenly it's acceptable to understand that she can be a victim or be groomed or etc. But a young boy can't be groomed by an older man. You know what I mean? I just find it to be so interesting. And these power dynamics, I think, aren't ever going to be recognized with four young boys or men. Um, like, I don't see any progress happening, to be honest with you. Like, I just don't. And I feel like that's up to men. We've created the issue because we like to be strong, masculine. We create these stereotypes. We can't be sensitive and speak about issues and get emotional and cry. We're not allowed to do that. We've created our own issue. We need to fix it, child. So I think I've gone off on a whole new tangent in this video, and I do apologize for doing so. I really do. Um, but I do think that there is a huge issue when it comes to this and how there are a lot of these grown uncles, child, and men who be abusing young boys and there are also women who can abuse men as well and that men can go through a lot of abuse um, and they're not the majority let's make that very clear majority are women but young boys and men do go through a lot of abuse and because of the masculinity the culture the religion you're restricted and you can't actually speak about it or get any help it is dangerous child i've gone off on a whole tangent i don't know why i've done this i don't know why i, I don't know why i've done this i like i, I don't understand I'm just talking for no reason. This video was meant to be three, four minutes. And now for some reason, I'm now, it's now 12. Really sorry, guys. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Click that button for daily and consistent content. Let me know your thoughts. I want to come to this neighbor child. I've gone from the neighbor to talking about grooming of young boys. What, where the hell have I gone with this video? Like, why do I do this to myself? Anyways, subscribe, click that button, and I will catch you guys soon for another video.